What's going on, everybody? It's fragged out, swagged out, and you already know why I'm here. And today, I'm talking to you about a gourmand. If you watch my channel for any amount of time, you already know I'm into gourmand fragrances. And the one I'm going to talk to you about today comes from the house of Giuseppe Parfum. And if you know Giuseppe Parfum, then you know how they get down with those gourmand fragrances. And you know how Jimmy Bowden just likes creating these rich, crazy, just crazy, <laughs> mouth-watering fragrances that in the air you get this feel that what you're smelling is edible, then this fragrance is not going to let you down. It's right along those. But it does its own thing. I will say that. So the fragrance we're talking about today is 500 Gourmands. Now, it's an interesting name because 500 Gourmands, not Gourmands, Gourmands, plural. And there's a reason for that. This is a limited run fragrance and it comes in a four pack. And these are four fragrances. It's the fragrance itself. It is Gourmand Bajor. The original is Accident a la Venie, and it's Delicious Black Powder. Now... Where the 500 comes from, there are 500 of these made. When the 500 get down to one, that is the last fragrance. And that may very well be the end of it. Unless, I don't know, we start knocking down Jimmy's door and asking for full bottles. But before we get there, let's uh, <laughs> let's look at these fragrances right here. Now, this four pack, um, which by the way, this right here, you're going to want to get your nose on. If you're going on lover, plus it's limited. People like me, I like to get my hands on those limited fragrances. But additionally... These three right here are fragrances that have already made their place in the gourmand um, space and especially in Giuseppe Parfum, especially Accident a la Venie, which I do have uh, a review on. Um, gourmand Bacour, the original, I have not reviewed that one, but I have some of the flankers reviewed and um, Delicious Black Powder, which I also did review. Just amazing gourmand fragrances. And now with the addition of this one, so you get the new one that is limited and you get to try out three of the other ones if you haven't already that you would like to see how they smell. All four of them come out together to um, 99 euros at the Giuseppe Parfum website. So let's get into this fragrance. Before we even spray anything on, I'm going to tell you right now, the top notes are honey, orange, raspberry, and violet. The mid notes are black tea, praline, and pink pepper. And the base notes are vanilla, jasmine, and caramel. Now, this fragrance, just by looking at the notes, it kind of does its own thing. It has its very heavy gourmand aspects, but it's countered by a very nice um, floral component that really does blend together uh, with the fruity aspects of this fragrance. So, I did spray some on earlier. This is not a first impression. It's actually like a fifth impression. It's a very nice atomizer, especially for these little tubular ones. Mm, yeah, so this is, it opens up a 100% gourmand bomb. It opens up with a very thick chocolate. It starts almost like a powdery cacao but it immediately picks up into this rich, denser chocolate that with a layer of that almost a like gelatinous kind of um, juicy kind of raspberry sauce. And you get a touch of something nutty. So overall, here's what I will say for sure. Just very, very, uh, at first sniff, the, the vibe you get here is a chocolate raspberry tart with almond crust that says it all i'm telling you that says it all i'm telling you if you go try one of those and you order it and you smell it and you compare the two the image that comes into my mind is a very fudgy chocolate raspberry tart with an almond crust now it has this very very nice dense sweetness if if od gourmand is not for you this may not be for you now here's the other thing as it dries down, those floral components start coming up more and it kind of lightens up the dense, thick aspects of the gourmand. Those florals really blend well with that raspberry and they end up giving you hints of floral, but they lean kind of jammy into that fruity leaning floral effect. Uh, this smells great. In the base, you are going to get that 
light touches of vanilla and caramel initially and those get very faint as it continues to dry down what stands out to most to me throughout this entire wearing experience is going to be that chocolate very rich and dense and i think it does a good job of blending with that caramel it's not that the vanilla and the caramel go away is that they kind of join in with that um chocolate and become just a a one larger scent throughout the entire fragrance profile you're gonna get a lot of nice juicy raspberry and that praline in the mid doesn't come off as an overly candied praline you get more of that semi-sweet um almond nuttiness whereas where i pick up some of that almond crust that i keep imagining when i smell the fragrance this is a great 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 fragrance um it, it's kind of sad that it is limited but man, the, it, yeah, that, that raspberry, that almond, that chocolate, again, it has those florals, which as it dries down, it just gives it this lighter feel. It's not overly gourmand anymore. And those florals kind of, you know, it, it helps it transition to a nice skin scent uh, by the end of the wear. Overall, this is amazing gourmand fragrance, but I usually expect nothing less from the House of Giuseppe Parfum because, um, you know, Take away all the great stuff that Jimmy can do with Marble Oud, when he deals with Oud, when he does the um, his other lines, the raw, the the sick. When he gets into his gourmand mode, he's making fire every time. So that is what I have for you today. It is 500 gourmands, four pack. You get the limited um, edition fragrance with the addition of three more that are amazing gourmands that if you haven't smelled yet, is an awesome opportunity to get your nose on them if you've ever been considering buying the full bottle presentation. With that said, this is all I have about this particular fragrance right here. I definitely recommend it, especially for the deep gourmand lovers. If you enjoyed this content, if you got something out of it, if you learned something new, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to add any personal experiences that you may have had with this particular fragrance want to ask any questions just leave a comment in general feel free to leave it i always read the comments and i try to get back to everybody as soon as possible and lastly if you are not following this page and you continue to come back and find something that you can enjoy or you find something interesting or you found your last favorite fragrance based on something you learned here then please subscribe because you're probably going to come back and I'm definitely going to come back to leave more reviews in the future. Thank you very much if you watch this long. This is Fragged Out, Swagged Out, and I'm out.